how to add a point of sale to WordPress using WooCommerce for food ordering. Easy tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can add a point of sale to your WordPress website. So let's get into it. Now, if you go into your menu section and you have created a simple website, now this is just a empty website that I'm using as a sample, but if you have created a food ordering website, now whenever you're ordering food, you get questions asked like, hey, what would you like to order? Okay, you want to order a double cheeseburger. Would you like some fries with that? Would you like a drink with that? Okay, do you want anything for dessert? Maybe you want to catch something sweet. Do you want an appetizer with your meal? So all these questions usually trigger people into ordering more food and this is called the point of sale so you're adding multiple different options for customers to you know view once more and just be like oh yeah i might just want to order that as well and then they add that into their cart as well and this is usually when people are checking out so if you have a simple checkout where people can just add to cart and just buy then you might be losing quite a lot of money in terms of sales in terms of getting more customers to buy more items so adding a simple point of sale system enables you to get more out of a singular customer and it is super easy and simple to do just because it sounds complicated does not mean it has to be we're going to be using a simple plugin called Oliver point of sale now there are a bunch of point of sale plugins available for wordpress but specifically for food ordering and for food related services i recommend using oliver point of sale the reason for that is that their plugin is specifically made for food items it's not made it's not generalized it's not for clothing items there are a bunch of different generalized plugins and those are amazing as well however you're going to have your work cut out for you when you are going to be customizing those to fit food ordering because it's a little different than that food ordering is just quite a little it's like a different niche a different category of items so the customization needs to be quite a lot for it to look as good as oliver pos does so oliver pos is amazing they allow you cash inventory cash and inventory management e-commerce integrations sales reports as well as integrated payments now to get started all you have to do is go on to wordpress go on to your wordpress dashboard and all you have to do is click on plugins over here. Once you click on plugins, click on add new. And once you do that, just search for Oliver POS. So once you have searched for Oliver POS, you will be able to see this is the first, you know, result. So this is the Oliver POS, which is specifically a WooCommerce point of sale platform or plugin. So it's very specific and it will fit your individual business needs very well. This is the best part about using this is that it is made for this specific function that you are deriving from it. So we're just going to click on install now. And in a couple of seconds, our plugin will be installed. Then you can click on install plugins over here. So so once you click on install plugins plug in over here and you're just going to click on activate so you need to activate your plugin before you can you know get started with customizing it and once you do that you will be able to see on the left side of your screen you have a oliver point of sale bridge so this enables you to actually you know customize your entire you know woocommerce product setup so the products that you've added on woocommerce you can now customize them add related products add suggestions so on and so forth so we're going to click on create a account and you just have to create a account on the oliver pos system so we're just going to do that it's pretty simple and easy now once you do that you can choose to sign up with google facebook or apple or even with an email address i'm just going to continue with google so once i have continued with google over here we're just going to continue and we're just going to give some basic informational access like you normally would on signing up with any kind of website we're just going to complete our sign up over here and once you have done that you will actually be able to see that you have your management system on the all of our pos system so we're just waiting for this to load and now you can see over here this is the checkout now this is a demo user where you can customize and see how you want items to be appeared now uh, you can use this as a sample first and then move on to your actual website i'm just going to click on yes i'm ready to connect my website and i will connect my website over here and i will click on sync my products 
and now all of your products will be appearing on your Oliver POS system and you will be able to customize it accordingly. So once you do that, you're going to click on manage shop. And once you have done that, you can see you actually have your monthly revenue, total orders, total sales, and you can click on your payment types, all of our apps, and this will actually show you all of the apps that you can integrate even with your all of our POS system. Now, what you're going to do is you can go into your general settings, you can go into your registers, you can go into your general settings, and you can actually begin to launch a register. And then you can customize the register how you want it. So first off, you have to just create a pin. And once you do that, you can begin by adding your little uh, product. So you can see I just have one product, so that's all it's going to show. And I can simply click on this product, click on save and update, and the product will be added over here. Now I can add multiple different products on the top right. I can add a note. I can add a fee for certain products. Let's say that you charge extra money for delivering, you know, liquid items or ice creams or something like that. So you can add those extra fees, extra service fees on the all of our POS system. Then you can simply click on checkout over here and see how the checkout is going to be looking like. And now once you do that, you can actually over here, customize all the different things. So let's say that you have one mug in the item. So you can choose the customer address. So how it's going to appear. You can create a potential customer. You can choose what kind of item that they want to pay with all of that basic stuff. So this is just your basic setup of a register. Now you can click on customer view over here to be able to see how the customer is going to be viewing your register step by step. So First off, let's say that we're just going to create new customer. So now you can see as a customer what it's going to look like. Now, I want to go on ahead and, uh, you know, adjust my credit or add a node to my order. You can do that. You can click on add customer to sale. And from here, I can just click on my customer view to optimize that as well. So this enables both you to optimize the user register experience, the actual business experience, as well as the customer experience. Now. Once you have done that, you can simply uh, go on to your website and you will be able to see multiple different options where you have customized it and you can go on and, you know, redo it once you have added more product. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to follow along with these methods and techniques that I showed in this video. And if you found them helpful, make sure to share them with someone you might think that may need these. Share them with your friends, with your family, with your cousins, and share them with any business partners that you might have. And it might help you guys a lot to know all of these techniques and to follow along. And if you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like. And if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below. And I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel. I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms and if you have any details that you might want to know any suggestions any improvements that you think that i could add on to these videos then please do leave them in the comment box down below and i will make future videos according to those and if you have any specific topics that you look forward to also leave those in the comment box down below and I will try to make videos on those as well and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing I will try to figure out a way to an uh, integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video